Hey everyone, welcome back to our move here. Welcome back to Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. Let's let's just get into it. Oh, I actually have to click on it. <coughs> Second night. Pick up the phone. You have one new message. Hey there. I uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Uh, just to get a list of the uh, issues we've had with them. They've written down some stuff here for you. So uh, let's see. All right. So obviously the animatronics walk around at night. You know that by now. Um, they try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh-huh. Yep. They act weird after dark. Yep. They don't like adults. Hmm. I mean, I suppose. They always seem nice around children. Around us employees, they just kind of stare at you. I always thought they just hadn't been coded to interact with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So yeah, you gotta understand the type of people who will work at a place like this. Eyes or something. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Oh, there he is right there. Uh, we have these penguin animatronics as waiters. Uh, they take people quarters and whatnot. We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. Right here. I think they're referring to the third penguin that still works. Or, well, apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him into the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, that'll be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shift. I like the penguins. They're cute. Is Chester upset? He killed me last time. Oh wait, doesn't the last penguin come out of this one of these doors in the kitchen? Yeah. Chester. I don't like Chester. If you didn't see the last video, chances are you didn't. The animatronics are Cindy, uh, Candy, right there at the door. And we got the penguin. We have Blank, Chester, and behind there, Old Candy comes out, and behind the door behind Chester. We don't talk about what's there. Now there's a reason why it's not on the cameras. God!
That got me. Shut up, loser. <laughs> Okay, I need to actually pay attention this time. So I'm not used to commentating over this sort of game. Does that say something up there? No, I don't think so. Okay, don't think anything actually went off until 1 a.m., so I'm, I'm gonna wait for that. Okay, so yeah, candy can come from both sides. Candy's already back to camp 5. Were you looking at me before? Yeah, mouse movement. That's as soon as you start talking, man. See, Cindy's on cam three. You gotta watch out for that. Can't believe I died twice on night two. Pathetic. Why is it darkening? I, ju I didn't notice this thing blinking before. Upgrade your freaking facilities. Oh yeah, also penguin. Uh, as the guy said, Penguin can destroy your whole system if he gets into your office. I don't like Chester. Oh yeah, the cameras, I think they drain, I think the phone guy said that the cameras drain more power when they, um, when the night vision is on.
Yeah, for me this game is like the opposite of the of the main FNAF games. Cause in those ones, for me the fear was like tense. Like it was like it was a really good tense horror game, but whenever I got jump scared it didn't really it didn't really like mess with me or anything. In this game it's pretty much the opposite. I'm not sure why. Probably me. It's, it's probably just me. Really the only cameras that you need to watch are 4 and 6, and then the later nights, cam 11, because of him. I'll, I'll, I'll explain how he works when it's relevant. I love that. We're back here again. I think these took some inspiration from FNAF 2. Error. No video input. I can listen. Sounded like someone was getting like crushed up or something. Oh yeah, and the character on the title screen changes. I forgot. That's kind of neat. That's like a recurring theme throughout the FNAF series. And we're also gonna do night three. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care how how long it takes me. We're gonna do night three in this episode. I like how it's a burger here. I like burgers more than cupcakes anyways. Still here, I see. Awesome job these last two nights. You're already way better than our previous night guard. He didn't even well, stay in two actually. nights before he brought a wrench to his shift and tried to destroy one of our animatronics. The animatronic in question is the blank character, uh, the one in the drawing room on uh, camera game. 11, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised he still works. And despite the holes and the fact that his left arm and the back of his head is missing, the kids still really like him. Anyway, Ever since that day, Blank's been acting almost more strange than the other animatronics. Like, among other things, he seems to have developed this fascination with getting into the office from the ticket booth. And I guess he can't see the glass or something. So yeah, keep an eye on him. When you see him heading to the ticket booth, just shut the door in his face, and then he'll find something else to do, I guess. Oh, and uh, by the way, ever since that new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed last week, We've been getting more and more customers during the day. So next week, if you're up for it, we could use you on the day shift. Think it over. We'll talk later. They're already moving this fast? This is night three. It's 1 a.m. and we've had three of them at the door. Maybe it's just me, maybe I haven't played the original Five Nights at Freddy's in too long, but that's just ridiculous to me. 
And by the way, I think this game is like... Like, this game is, uh, like, in my opinion, the most faithful recreation of Five Nights at Freddy's. Or not recreation, but like... It's the most similar to the first Five Nights at Freddy's in terms of gameplay. And I feel like for the design of the environment, they took more inspiration from FNAF 2. The animatronics sort of have that feel to them. You know, shiny, plastic looking, all that kind of thing. Oh, that's creepy. That's incredibly creepy. I can't tell if it makes it better or worse that his eyes don't glow like the others. So, when Blank leaves the drawing room, he'll, Im he'll Im instantly go to Cam 9. Not Cam 9, Cam 5. And then, if you go to that, it's like Foxy, you know? If when he leaves his cove, he tries to run down the hall and kill you. And you have to shut the door. In this one, he, um, Blank, punches out the glass. I remember this from the original. It shouldn't be popping off like this on night three. I don't think the cat comes out until... I don't think old candy comes out until night four. Thanks for that, Ace. I no longer like the penguin. Can I order you to leave me the freak alone? Maybe the last worker had the right idea bringing a wrench to his shift. Stop it, you dumb bird. Oh, Blank's left hand is gone, I forgot about that. the right idea. Can I take your order? The animation looks so much cleaner now. Like he actually moves Can like I an animatronic this time. Or like, you saw how he was all like that time?
I'm never working at Candy's Whoppers and Chips again. If you get that reference... You get a seal of approval from me. Crime scene. One, two, three, five. Where's four? Oh, Vinny's wigging out this time. Oh, that's creepy, actually. It wasn't creepy enough last time when he was just standing there. You know what this reminds me of? Remember those hallucinations that you could get in FNAF 1? Where you'd see the, the Freddy with really weird eyes flashing and it would say, it's me. That's what that reminds me of. So, um... Anyways... Uh, sorry, my brain just left me. Hold on. All right, it came back. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, do. Uh,